Do you give to the poor only to gain favors, acceptance, control over them, and public praise? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. There was this businessman whose only interest in life was to play the stock market. He studied the financial pages of the newspapers greedily every day. He became so obsessed with finances that one day he said aloud to himself, I would give anything to see the paper one year from now. No sooner were the words out of his mouth than there was a puff of smoke in the room and a little genie handed him a newspaper and then disappeared. As soon as he got over this shock, he realized that his wish had been granted. The paper in his hand was dated for next year. Feverishly, he found the financial page and then his eyes bulged when he saw how the market developed. He wrote down the stocks that had jumped highest and won the most money in that time. He got into his car and went to his stockbroker with his latest information. He took the newspaper along and was browsing through it before he started off. Then suddenly, he noticed his name in the death column. It described the cause of his death and the funeral arrangements. In today's gospel, a young rich man asks Jesus what it takes to have eternal life. Jesus enumerates the commandments which the young man says he has fulfilled. When Jesus told him to sell everything he had and give the proceeds to the poor, the young man walked, unable to comprehend and accept Jesus' words, for he had many treasures, and he walked away sad. Jesus did not compel all the rich Christians to sell all that they had. He was not concerned with their riches, but with their hearts. Joseph of Arimathea was a case in point. He used his money in the service of God, including spending for Jesus' burial and putting his body in the family tomb. Notice that Jesus mentioned the commandments that pertain to loving one's neighbor and not anymore the first three that were related to loving God. He did this to emphasize that the way to loving God is through loving our neighbor first. He said, If you wish to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But can we ever be perfect? You can look at perfection in different ways. If you are well off financially and give to the poor, do you satisfy the criteria for perfection? Perhaps. But it requires a deep sense of humility to be perfect. When one gives to the poor and leaves a trail for people to see. When one is generous but has the motivation to gain favors, acceptance, control over them, and the praise of men, giving then becomes a manipulative act that makes it impure, imperfect. Pride for having given to the needy is what wipes away a supposed act of generosity. Charlene Johnson, a counselor, narrates that an extremely beautiful woman, expensively dressed and perfectly groomed, came to her. Everything she demanded of her husband, she received. A fabulous home, cars, clothes, furnishings, which her husband just could not afford. She drove him to despondency and near bankruptcy, and they separated. Her entire life was filled with things and was absolutely empty. The counselor then said, I'd like you to hear something. And she called over the elderly office janitress and asked her to tell Mrs. X how she had found happiness in life. Well, my husband died of pneumonia, and three months later, my only son was killed in an accident. I had nobody and nothing. I walked in a daze. I couldn't sleep. I didn't feel like eating. I never smiled at anyone. I'd even thought of doing away with myself. One night, a scrawny kitten followed me home from work. Somehow, I felt sorry for that kitten. It was cold outside and I decided to let the kitten in and gave it some milk. It purred and rubbed against my leg and for the first time in months, I smiled. Then I stopped to think, if helping a little kitten could make me smile, maybe doing something for somebody else would make me happy. So the next day, I baked some cookies and took them to a neighbor who was sick in bed. Every day, I tried to do something nice for someone else because it made me happy to see them happy. I guess a person can't be very happy unless he's thinking of how much he can help others instead of how much he can get. I don't know anybody who sleeps and eats better than I do. I've found happiness. The rich lady cried. She had everything money could buy, but she had lost the things money cannot buy. Then she resolved, I'm going to make a human being out of this silly doll that I've always been. When you give, give your heart and not just your money. Give out of gratitude for God's blessings. Give not because you expect anything in return. Give because you are returning to God what He has blessed you with. The adulation and praise of people may make you happy when you give, but you will never store up in heaven the treasure that really matters, God's lasting praise for you. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, grant me the grace to generously give to the needy without expecting anything in return. Make me a humble servant, seeking and longing only for your eternal praise 
rather than that of men. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.